Good evening and welcome to India Watch. I'm Palki Sharma Upadhyay. On this show, we track the biggest stories in India. With a new government in charge, there are new challenges and new targets. There's a lot that needs to be highlighted and discussed. In the next 30 minutes, we'll bring you up to speed with India. As always, verified updates, unbiased analysis. Let's start with what's happening in Modi 2.0. Living up to its billing, the government is breaking the shackles of convention yet again. Here's the latest in that direction. India's national security advisor, Rajiv Doval, is back with a second term and a cabinet rank. Again, an unprecedented move by this government. His term as a national security advisor has been extended for a period of five years. More importantly, Mr. Doval has been given a cabinet rank in recognition of his contribution in the domain of national security. Remember, as the man in charge of the national security establishment that includes all anti-terror and intelligence outfits, Mr. Doval is among the most powerful officers in the country. He's 74 years old. He headed the intelligence bureau at one point in time. Ajit Doval is a 1968 batch Indian Police Service IPS officer. Under his watch as NSA, India had conducted two important anti-terror operations. One, the 2016 surgical strikes on Pakistan after the Uri terror attack. And two, the recent Bala Kota air strikes by the Indian Air Force after the Pulwama terror attack. Here's something you may not know about him though. Mr. Doval was the first police officer to receive the Kirti Chakra back in 1988. His elevation to the cabinet rank is significant for many reasons. It's also a balancing act of sorts. Earlier, Mr. Doval enjoyed the status of Minister of State, MOS. Dr. S. Jay Shankar, as Foreign Secretary, was ranked below him, even reported to him. Now that Dr. Jay Shankar is a cabinet minister, he has a cabinet rank, Mr. Doval has also been elevated. The first national security advisor in India to be accorded a cabinet minister status. A cabinet minister, we can tell you, is ranked seventh in the order of precedence in the government of India. An MOS, Minister of State, is ranked at the tenth position. The senior most bureaucrat in the government, the cabinet secretary, is ranked eleventh in this list. Secretaries to the government of India and secretary to the prime minister are ranked at the twenty-third position in the order of protocol. Previous NSAs, like Brijesh Mishra under Atal Bihari Vajpayee, M.K. Narayanan, Jain Dikshit and Shiv Shankar Menon under Manmohan Singh, all enjoyed the ranks or the rank of ministers of state. Now, India's new defense minister, Rajnath Singh, visited Siachen today, the highest militarized zone in the world. This was the minister's first visit to a defense base outside New Delhi after taking charge of his portfolio. Army Chief General Bipin Rawat was with him. Rajnath Singh visited a forward post and the Siachen base camp. He interacted with the troops who are guarding the border beyond altitudes of 12,000 feet. Tributes were also paid to the martyred soldiers who sacrificed their lives while serving in Siachen. Rajnath Singh tweeted, and I quote, I'm proud of all army personnel serving in Siachen who are leaving no stone unturned to defend our motherland. I'm also proud of their parents who have sent their children to serve the nation by joining the armed forces. I will personally send a thank you note to them, unquote. The Siachen Glacier in the Karakoram Range is the highest battlefield in the world where soldiers have to guard against not just the enemy but also battle frostbite and high winds. Ever since Indian forces took control of the Siachen Glacier back in 1984, both India and Pakistan have fought intermittent artillery duels. Even though the area is under Indian military control, the two sides remain locked in a standoff.